This is Michael Oral of MobileBurn.com, and we're at the Verizon offices in New York City to take a look at the new Verizon Hub. It's a VoIP phone that integrates some home computing uh, capabilities. You can see we have a main menu. It's widget-based, not unlike Nokia's Internet tablets in that regard. all sorts of things like directories for looking up uh, you know yellow pages type functionality except you get maps and descriptions everything like that full vcast video support plus some additional video that you don't get otherwise for uh, lifestyle type things support for Verizon's chaperone service you can't configure the chaperone service from the device but you can check up on the location of your loved ones from the hub can look up movies and get show times and even purchase tickets. Calendar support. Calendar will synchronize with the Verizon Hub website so you can import your Outlook functionality, Outlook calendar appointments into there. Simple calculator. Traffic reports from traffic.com from 30 plus seconds in the US. Protect cities. Get low tech, the only stolen a vehicle is stolen every 26 seconds in the US. Protect of a little bit of commercial get before you get to the information. The only stolen vehicle recovery system operated by police. Low tech, get it and get it back. Here's your traffic.com traffic report for the Washington area. There are no critical incidents to report. Of course not. Unlike traditional home VoIP services, the uh, Verizon Hub also supports text and picture messaging, so you can send and receive messages from the Hub. Uh, it's particularly good for receiving picture messages from your family members, so you can have a photo sent directly to the Hub. Visual voicemail application, just like you see on the BlackBerry Storm and other devices. Contact support can be synchronized with Verizon's website, call log, and of course the dial pad. But if you don't want to use the dial pad on the screen, you can always use the dial pad on the phone itself. In terms of extensions, there's support for the built-in handset plus five additional extensions, so you can uh, wirelessly cover the house pretty well. Phone also supports simul ring, so you can have three additional phone numbers ring simultaneously with your home phone. So you have your cell phone and the ring at, uh, on its own phone and also ring here. So depending on which one you answer it, you could pick up your cell phone calls from the hub itself. We'll take a quick look at the settings for the hub. You can go through and configure your home screen. You can see right here we have three different cities. In there, we can add additional ones. Can you have other phones that change wallpapers? It's a Linux-based system. You can tell it kind of has that look to it in the graphics and everything, just the way it responds, nice and light, nice and quick. It's a 7-inch resistive touchscreen display. It does come with a stylus. It's not necessary to use it, though. Two USB ports on the device. You can see in the round back, you can see one of them. They are not used at the moment yet. Uh, Verizon is reserving those for future accessories or synchronization with PC or something like that in the future that have yet to, to uh, determine. Phone, the, the hub supports over the network updates, firmware updates, so the users don't have to do anything themselves, which is kind of nice. Anywhere on the device you can see this little icon you can press to get back to the home screen. So that's our quick look at the Verizon hub. It's uh, available for 
$249.99 with a $50 mail-in rebate and has a $34.99 monthly service fee attached to it. So that's the Verizon Hub. It's on sale for $249.99 with a $50 mail-in rebate, taking it down to $199.99, and has a $34.99 monthly service fee attached to it. Requires you already have a Verizon wireless yeah. phone or family plan, though.